Welcome to the four screencast. We're going to use everything we learned in the first three videos to create the login script. So let's go ahead and open Firefox. And let's visit our softwarebugs.com website. Now open up Firebug. Switch to net so we can view the traffic. And let's go ahead and click on the login. Quickly, the first thing we need to do is create a sampler to go to the login page. So, I'm going to add a sampler. Rename that. Visit login page. And quickly look, and it is login so path login we'll add a listener and we're going to go ahead and assert that we've landed on the login page by seeing this message and add assertion in the response Verify login page. We'll see that we get that message. Okay. Let's go ahead and save and run our script. Okay. And we've passed. Right. There's the request. Get the response data. That's for the HTML, and we're on our login page. Next, let's go ahead and log into our site. And log in. So let's do that, and we've got a post request. Inspect it real quick, and we are going to create a sampler with a post request and one, two, three, four, five, six parameters. Let's go ahead into JMeter and add another sampler. Logging into my account. Slash free user slash sign in. The first parameter is our authenticity token. And in the third video, we got that from here. So we can go ahead and use the variable token for the value. We'll enter that here in the JMeter variable form. And let's quickly add the rest.
there we have it. Let's add listener. And we'll verify that we've landed there by seeing that we got the my account. So add an assertion. All right, so we're good. We we'll visit this page. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and switch that to post. All right, so we can post for class. We're gonna notice free user on uh, slash sign in. These are the parameters we're passing. All right, there's the token. All right, looks good. Let's clear this. Save our test, and then run it again. So if we quickly look, we can see that we've succeeded. And I can do a search. And there's my account. So using everything we learned in the first three videos, I've quickly created a login script and added it to my test case.